Have you ever felt that the days, weeks, and months seem to blur together, passing by with increasing speed? This is not your imagination nor a symptom of modern life's chaos. Many people around the world are experiencing this shift in the perception of time, and there is a deeper spiritual reason behind it, and those who don't learn how to adapt to this phenomenon will feel like their lives slip away faster than usual. What's going on with time, and how can we adapt it? Our understanding of time to begin. Understanding this phenomenon, we must delve into the concept of time itself. Most people perceive time as a linear progression from past to present to future a relentless march that governs our lives. However, many spiritual traditions and philosophies suggest that time is far more fluid and complicated than we realize in ancient Greek philosophy, there's the idea of kaios, which contrasts with chronos. While chronos refers to chronological or sequential time, kaios represents a more qualitative opportune moment, time as a significant experience, rather than mere duration. This distinction helps us Understand that time can be experienced differently based on our mental and spiritual state. Similarly, Eastern philosophies like Buddhism and Hinduism view time as a cyclical process rather than a linear one. Life and existence are seen as a series series of cycles, with time repeating itself in endless loops of creation preservation, and destruction. This cyclical nature of time suggests that our perception of its passage can be influenced by our alignment with these natural cycles. The truth is far. More interesting, the combination of Kronos and Chios explains the current phenomenon of spiritual awakening and ascension. The real reason why time feels like it's speeding up more than ever. Spirit UAL ascension changes your perception. Mystics and spiritual teachers have spoken about the acceleration of time as a sign of the times we live in. For example, the Mayan calendar, which gained widespread attention leading up to 2012, is based on cycles of time that suggest a period of rapid transformation and awakening for humanity, the end of a major cycle. I. And the calendar was interpreted by some as a signal of a new era of consciousness where time would feel increasingly accelerated as we move towards greater enlightenment. This is why, as individuals and as a collective, we are believed to be undergoing a significant transformation in consciousness. This shift involves moving from a dense materialistic view of life to a higher, more enlightened state of being. As we awaken spiritually, our perception of time changes. We become more present, more attuned to the moment and less anchored to the past or the future. And this is not just an esoteric phenomenon, but one that has also been supported by the field of quantum physics, which has increasingly found common ground with spiritual teachings. Quantum theory suggests that time is not as fixed as we perceive it to be. The idea of superposition indicates that particles can exist in multiple states at once until they are observed. This implies that our reality and our experience of time within it is not as rigid as we once thought. Our consciousness therefore plays a crucial role in shaping our experience of time, but the problem lies in that not everyone is ready to accept spiritual ascension. Nor the changes that come with it in our mindset, most people will feel overwhelmed with the sensation of their lives slipping by. The human mind reacts with emotionality in these situations, as few people in the world are ready to accept the reality that their life is finite. Most people will feel despair and hopelessness upon this realization because they see time as an enemy. Later we'll discover how this mindset is harmful. But before we get there, let's delve in. Oh, the immediate solution for the effect of spiritual ascension on our perception of time. It turns out that the spiritual ascension of a civilization isn't a new phenomenon, which is why ancient hermetic sages developed a technique that could help modern humans deal with these difficult emotions, issues, and slow down the sensation of speeding time. It involves reconnecting with the Earth's energy and re-establishing a sense of stability within our own bodies and minds, meaning not everyone will be ready to apply it to their lives. So are you ready to Leah on how to do it? 
ground yourself to protect yourself. This technique is called grounding. This simple yet powerful practice can help you reconnect with the present moment. By engaging your senses by doing so, you can anchor yourself in the here and now, providing a sense of calm and stability. There are many ways to perform the grounding technique. Some take it literally as walking barefoot on grass, sand, or soil allows you to absorb the Earth's energy directly. This is also known as earthing. If you cannot walk barefoot simply sitting or lying on the ground, D can have a similar effect. Allow yourself to feel the support of the Earth beneath you. You and imagine its energy flowing into your body, grounding and stabilizing you. The good thing is that this technique is simple enough that anyone could try it, but its more evolved form is where things get difficult. That's because the higher levels of grounding require a level of commitment to practice that even the most advanced mystics of old struggled to achieve. So if you want to get to that level, pay close attention to this technique. This is grounding your phi. V senses into the present, engaging your five senses the five. Senses grounding technique involves deliberately focusing on each of your senses, sight, sound, touch, taste, and smell. Start by looking around you. Notice five things that you can see. They can be anything in your immediate environment. A tree swaying in the wind, the pattern on the carpet, a picture on the wall, or even the way light filters through a window. Take a moment to truly observe these objects. Pay attention to their colors, shapes, and details. This visual exploration helps you ground yourself by a encoring your awareness in the present moment next. Close your eyes and listen. Identify four sounds that you can hear. These might include the hum of an air conditioner, birds chirping outside distant traffic, or the rustling of leaves by focusing on these auditory stimuli. You can draw your attention away from your thoughts and into the present notice. How each sound has its own unique quality and rhythm. Now shift your focus to touch. Find three things that you can feel. This could be the texture of your clothing against your skin. The coolness of a met. Al object or the warmth of a mug in your hand spend a few. Moments exploring these sensations, notice the temperature, texture, and pressure of each item. Engaging your sense of touch helps ground you in your physical body, bringing a sense of stability and presence. Now take a moment to think about two things you can taste if you have food or a drink nearby. Take a small bite or sip and focus on the flavor. If not, simply notice the lingering taste in your mouth or recall a recent meal. Paying attention to taste can be a powerful way to ground yourself as it bry, brings your awareness to the present experience of eating or drinking. Finally, turn your attention to your sense of smell. Identify one thing that you can smell. This might be the scent of a nearby flower, the aroma of coffee or the fragrance of a candle. Take a deep breath and really take in the scent. Engaging your sense of smell can evoke memories and emotions, helping you connect more deeply with the present moment. Good, but there's still more to learn from this technique. A single variable known only to a few can unlock the hidden potential in the five senses. Grounding technique magnifying it to a point where you'd be able to perceive the world at the exact speed it moves. All you need to do is combine the five senses grounding technique with the earthing technique we studied earlier by grounding within a natural environment as you walk through a park, sit by a river, or hike in the woods. Take the time to engage each of your senses. Notice the sights, sounds, smells, and textures around you. This not only grounds you but also deepens your connection to the natural world. Immerse yourself in mindful nature aft. Or all spending time in nature is one of the most effective grounding practices. The natural world operates on its rhythms, which are often slower and more deliberate than our modern lives. Walking through a forest, sitting by a river, or simply tending to a garden can help us attune to these natural rhythms as you immerse yourself in nature. Take the time to observe your surroundings, the rustle of leaves, the flow of water, the songs of birds. These sensory experiences can anchor you in the present moment, providing a sense of calm and stability now they. Do you've mastered the grounding techniques?
you will reach an expanded perception of time. This is because the more information our minds absorb, the slower time appears to pass. Expand your perception of time. This helps explain why time feels so drawn out for children and seems to accelerate as we age for children. The world is a fascinating place, brimming with new experiences and fresh sensations. As we grow older, we encounter fewer new experiences, and the world around us becomes increasingly familiar. It stands to reason that our perception of time should expand in unfamiliar environments where our minds are Rio processing more information than usual. When you travel to a foreign country, everything is unfamiliar and new, so you pay much more attention and take in much more information. This heightened awareness makes time seem to stretch out similarly when you spend a day on a training course, learning new things with a group of unfamiliar people. It feels like more time has passed than if you had stayed home following your usual routine. This leads to two simple ways to expand our experience of tea. Me first since familiarity makes time pass faster. We can slow down time by exposing ourselves to as many new experiences as possible by traveling to new places, taking on new challenges, meeting new people, and learning new skills. We increase the amount of information our minds process and stretch out our perception of time. Secondly, we can slow down time by making a conscious effort to be more mindful of our experiences. Mindfulness means fully focusing on what we are seeing, feeling, tasting, smelling, or hearing, rather than being lost in our thoughts. It involves living through our senses and our direct experiences instead of through our minds. Too often we spend time with friends, family, or colleagues without truly being present. We talk to them while distracted by our devices, our minds occupied with tasks we need to complete. We listen, but we're thinking about ourselves and what we want to say next. Ask yourself, what keeps me from being present? Make a list, and then consider how you can guard against these distractions. For example, when taking a shower in the morning instead of letting your M and wander about the day ahead or the previous night. Focus on the here and now. Pay attention to the sensation of the water splashing against your body, the warmth and the feeling of cleanliness, or on your way home from work instead of mulling over the day's problem. Focus your attention outside yourself. Look at the sky and the buildings you pass and be aware of your presence in the world around you. Another way to adapt to spiritual ascension is by introducing more silence in your life, which is the best way to reconnect with yourself in the mystical. Traditions of various faiths, silence plays a central role in spiritual practices and rituals. Mystics often retreat into solitude and silence to commune with the divine seeking union with the transcendent through inner stillness and contemplation, the desert fathers of early Christian monasticism. For instance, embraced a life of silence and solitude in the wilderness seeking God. In the silence of the desert in the modern era, we're constantly bombarded with stimuli from music and podcasts to social media feeds leaving little room for quiet reflection. One simple way to intrad produce more silence into your life is to embrace it during your daily commute for just one week. Challenge yourself to turn off the radio podcasts or music while driving. Allow the silence to envelop you as you navigate the roads, Psychologically, silence offers respite from the constant stimuli that bombard our senses, allowing the mind to rest and recharge. Alternatively, consider scheduling designated periods of silence throughout your week block, out time on your calendar for silent mindfulness, allowing you to disconnect for on the noise of the outside world and reconnect. With your inner self, you'll find that after adapting to this shift in time, perception, Everyday activities will become more enjoyable. But an important part of changing your perception of time also involves changing your mindset around it. Remember what I mentioned earlier about seeing time as an enemy, that's because without knowing most, most people turn time into a cruel master, they dread or resent spiritual ascension, requires us to change our vision of time from an enemy into a valuable ally, and here's how you can do it. Time is not your enemy. First, we have to accept a harsh truth. Time is a valuable asset that once it passes is gone for good. 
This reality can create immense pressure, as we often feel the weight of wasted moments leading many to think that they're working against time. Not with it, but time isn't your enemy. It's a neutral resource similar to money. So how to reduce the time pressure that inevitably comes with spiritual ascension? First, embrace a pragmatic approach to time management, recognizing that while you can't reclaim L, OS time, you can make the most of the time you have moving forward. This wisdom isn't new. Classical philosophers discovered that you can live happier when you think your life is long and full of opportunities, you will likely live between 80 and 100 years, which is plenty of time to achieve many wonderful things. This mindset helps eliminate the constant feeling of rushing, making life more enjoyable and less stressful. When you approach life with a long-term perspective, time becomes your ally. Significant achievements don't happen in a matter of weeks. Knowing you have ample time ahead allows you to focus on the process and trust that you will reach your goals eventually. Everyone who plans for the long term tends to succeed. This principle is deeply rooted in many spiritual and philosophical traditions, where the focus is often on the journey rather than the immediate results. The ancient Chinese philosophy of Taoism, for example, teaches us to align ourselves with the natural flow of life, emphasizing patience and harmony, the T.A. Ching. A foundational text advises nature does not hurry, yet everything is echo, emplished. Take your time and be patient. This advice is more than just a suggestion. It's a way of life that allows us to navigate the complexities of our existence with grace. In our fast-paced world, patience can seem like a luxury but it's a vital ingredient for long-term success. When we rush, we often make hasty decisions that lead to mistakes and missed opportunities by slowing down and carefully considering our actions. We create space for thoughtful decision-making and deeper understanding. Understand the situation before making decisions. This prince, Eiple, is echoed in the teachings of many great thinkers. And leaders throughout history, Confucius, the renowned Chinese philosopher, emphasized the importance of knowledge and understanding. Before taking action, he believed that wisdom comes from a deep comprehension of oneself and the world. By taking the time to thoroughly understand our circumstances, we are better equipped to make informed and effective decisions. Imagine a gardener planting a seed. The gardener knows that the seed will not sprout overnight. It requires time nurturing and the right condi. Tie-ins to grow the gardener waters. The seed ensures it gets enough sunlight and protects it from pests. This process of care and patience ultimately leads to a flourishing plant. In the same way, our long-term goals require consistent effort and patience. By tending to our goals with care and dedication, we can ensure their eventual success. While this doesn't work out perfectly every day, it serves as a reminder that you're in control of your time and that it's always a choice. What story are you telling yourself about time? Is it serving you? Are you viewing time a, as an enemy with never enough of it or do you see it as a partner in achieve your goals? And remember that sometimes it's wiser to accept your limitations around time instead of always compromising your time to help others. Let us ask you some harsh questions. Accept your limitations. Do you ever feel like it's your responsibility to save the world? Have you ever agreed to something you didn't even want to do? Because you feared that if you didn't show up, everything would collapse. We've all been there. But here's the truth. The world will keep spinning if you say no to the rush and focus on making time for yourself. Accepting your limitations allows you to give yourself the space for rest that you need when you stop trying to be everything to everyone. You start creating more space for spiritual ascension. You can focus on the things that truly matter to you and make a more significant impact in those areas. It's about quality over quantity, doing fewer things but doing them with more presence and passion responsibilities pile up, and we often feel guilty for indulging in activities that bring us joy. It's as if fun becomes a luxury we can't afford or worse. Something we forget how to incorporate into our lives all together.
Making time for yourself doesn't mean neglecting your responsibilities, but rather recognizing that moments of reflection and relaxation are essential for maintaining our mental and emotional health. So as you navigate the pressures and demands of adulthood, don't forget to prioritize time for yourself. Whether it's spending time with loved ones, pursuing hobbies, or simply indulging in activities that bring you joy car, the outspace for yourself to improve your well. Being only that way can you cultivate a sense of living in the present. Only that way will time feel like it should. And not as if it were slipping away from you, the world will keep turning, and you will be better equipped to contribute meaningfully to the spiritual ascension of mankind. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.